Hey guys, Cobb coming here. Today I'm going to be doing something completely different, and I'm going to be building a PC. If you're wondering what parts I'm going to use, I'll make sure to listen in the next clip. Um, and if you look in the description, you'll find a link to a video, a $300 gaming PC build, um, where you can find the entire list of parts, and you can buy them if you're interested in building this. Um, and this is going to be a computer that I'm making for my mom. It's going to be not used a whole lot for gaming and mostly for work stuff. Um, yeah, so let's get into the video. Okay, so, um, the parts I'm using for this is going to be, uh, this motherboard, the A32, A320M-S2H motherboard, an AMD Athlon processor with Radeon Vega graphics, um, and I am using a 450 watt, uh, uh, power supply, which I already have in the computer right here, uh, so I'm not installing that. Um, so, and also I'm using 8 gigabytes of DDR4 RAM, and that's what I'm using, and also I have this, uh, hard drive. So, if I just open this really quick, and then I can put it out right there. Okay, so I got that out. I'm touching some metal before I do anything. Uh, so now I got my processor. Okay, let me just get it out of the box really quick. Okay, let me see here. Uh, yeah, okay, that's instructions. Okay, that's the actual CPU. And this is the cooler with the thermal paste. Okay. So, you need to do this part very carefully. I don't want to ruin anything. Okay, let me see. Okay, I'm just going to open up the uh, CPU and then I need to. Take it out of here, okay. Yeah, okay, so it goes in like that. Let me just grab it. Okay, I need to be very careful. There we go. There we go, okay, it's all in. Now I need to do the cooler. Okay, so now I need to put this on very carefully, not to mess up any of the thermal paste or anything. Okay, now I'm ready to put it on. Uh, let me see here. I need to put it on. Okay, I got it hooked in. It's all in. So, now we need to do the RAM. The RAM should be fairly simple. I've dealt with the RAM before, putting it in old computers. Oh, this is cool RAM. Most of the other ones are green, but this has a case around it. So I just need to put it in here. Oh, here. There we go. Okay. There we go. Okay. First one's in. Now the second one. Okay, now it's time to put it in 
the actual computer. And then everything needs to be lined up properly. I will do that. Okay, that took a little bit too long, but I got all of the uh, things, I forget what they're called, uh, plugged in there. So now I need to do cables, but first actually I need to put in the screws really quick. Okay, so I finished um, screwing all the screws in. Now I'm just plugging in some wires, so we'll be back when that's done. Okay, so we're testing out the computer on Minecraft. I plugged everything in. I put the fan in. Um, so let's see how well Minecraft runs. We're doing Minecraft just because um, I like Minecraft. Uh, and it's not... Obviously, Minecraft doesn't need that good of a computer to run well. But you can see um, it stays around 60 FPS. And this is without Optifine. Um, it is pretty much all low settings um, and 720p resolution. So yeah, um, 60 FPS because the um, monitor that we're using has a 60 hertz refresh rate. So, um, and this is without Optifine. If, it, if we had Optifine, it would be running... Um, probably still 60 fps but it wouldn't get under fps or under 60 fps so um whenever we're loading chunks it goes down a little bit but yeah so 60 60 fps in minecraft thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed if you did hit the like button and subscribe see you guys next time bye